Hey guys, thanks for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. I'm so excited for today's episode because we have Coach Rick in the house to share a special product that he's recently invested in. Everyone, please welcome Coach Rick. Woo! Woo! Hello, and thank you for having me on your show. <laughs> uh, I love it, I love it. So, what are we cooking today? Yes, Probably what are we doing? Mm -hmm. Check this out. Jerome, I'll tell you that backstory and why I wanted to come onto your show. So what this is, is it's a company called Very Good Butchers. It's a Canadian company, and they make um, well, meat alternative products. Okay? okay. So just for the record, this isn't a vegan versus meat episode. This is just actually a company that I uh, actually invest in. I invest in their stocks. Okay. And I just thought to myself, you know what, I should probably try the product to make sure that I believe in it before I keep uh, purchasing more stocks. And what better way, since I know somebody has their own TV show or kitchen cooking show, we can do it on Neri's Kitchen. And I really like meat too, so I mean, who better to get an honest opinion than me, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> and, actually, and that's one of the things that I want you to do, and I told you to promise me at the end that you give me an honest opinion. Okay, so I will. So if you hate it, I want to know. I will let you know. Okay? <laughs> and if you do, I'm selling all my stuff. <laughs> okay, so what do we, uh, where do you want to start? Let's start off with the burgers, because okay. you can't go wrong with burgers, right? Okay, actually, why don't we open, we'll open this up. We'll get the bangers going too. So if you want to maybe uh, start two pa uh, pans with uh, oil. Okay. Maybe put them at like mid heat or something. Okay. Like that. I think we have a special sauce that goes with this too, right? Oh yeah. You're good. Okay. So we should probably, what should we do? Should we cook first or make the sauce first? Let's make the sauce first. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So let me do this. So while you're doing that, I'm going to take these out of the wrappers. Okay. Do you want to tell me what the ingredients are for the sauce? You betcha. The ingredients are barbecue sauce, uh, root beer, Okay. And oil. And what are the parts again? That's a great question. I think it's 50, 30, and 20. So 50 barbecue sauce. Oh, 50 barbecue sauce? Okay. And then we're going to go 30 um, root beer. 30 root beer, okay. And then a little bit of oil. Okay. So I'm using this sugar free um, barbecue sauce because that's all I have. So this is going to be a healthy barbecue sauce. And then uh, I have Zevia root beer because I don't have real root beer but it tastes just as good. You said 30 root beer? 30, yeah. Okay. Where do I get a fork, right here? The left side. And then I think you said 50 oil? Yeah, just, uh, okay, no, so 20, 20. Oh, 20 oil, oh, okay, so this is 20. Okay. So check this out. So this is what they look like coming out of the wrapper. They actually do legitimately, legitimately look like burgers. What does it smell like? Does it have a smell? Mm. It smells like barbecue sauce. Oh, it smells like barbecue sauce. It does, yep. And so, Jerome, let's uh, tell them what's in here. Uh, it's right here. So just so you know, this is a very minimally processed uh, ingredients. And I'll tell you real quick what it is. It is, where is it? Mary, we just read this. We were just looking at it, and I was actually quite impressed because it's pretty whole ingredients. Mm -hmm. So what it is, is uh, onion, organic wheat gluten, water, organic beans, azuki beans, apple cider vinegar, pearl, barley, organic, pressed sunflower oil, spices, cane sugar, oats, garlic, salt, natural flavor, liquid smoke. So no chemicals, nothing that you can't pronounce. Anymore. Pretty wholesome ingredients. I think so. Okay, so I'm just going to get our pans ready. Okay. So while you're doing that, I'm going to throw a little bit of this on one side. And then how long are we supposed to cook it for, Rick? We're going to cook it for a total of about six minutes, and we're going to flip it every two. Okay. So, Rick, how did you get into this product? Great question. Great question. So, um, as some people are starting to find out, I'm a stock investor. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found this company actually just because there's a lot of hype on the internet about this new uh, vegan company that's up and coming in the stock market. So that's how I found it. And I ended up investing in it, and then like I told you, you know, like I said in the beginning, I wanted to actually try the product so I wanted to make sure that it was you know, worth investing in. Because there are some other ones out there, and I know we have a comparison of some um, other products in the fridge. I do, yes. I have some stained eyes. Yeah. And it's just loaded with chemicals, and I like the fact that these guys aren't. Well, this one here, as you can tell, we've never really had it. It's still pretty full. But um, there's what? I was reading, oh, potassium chloride, I don't know what that is. There's carrageenan, I don't know what that is. 
um, a couple, magnesium chloride. So that's three other chemicals that's in here. So it's probably a good rule of thumb that if you don't recognize the words, it's probably like a different thing, right? Probably, so yes. So, so anyways, so that's how I got involved in this. And uh, the stock has skyrocketed. I actually made a little bit of money on it. And my wife is also a stock investor. She made some money on it as well. So we're working a whole lot in the long term. We're hoping that this turns into the next, uh, I don't know, big blue product. I think it will. So. And I like how they're located in Canada, too. They're located in Victoria, BC. They're a good Canadian company. They are opening another facility in California somewhere. Okay. A, a huge facility. And just so you know that they're so busy, it takes about four to six weeks to get the product. You place the order, and two to three weeks, they confirm your order. And then after that, it's through the process of you know finally getting it. So I actually ordered this. It was still warm outside when I ordered it. And so it's been that it. long. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's, there's, it's high demand. It's, uh, it's not that cheap. Um, I got all of this meat here along with some taco beef at home and another little package of something and it cost me about 70 bucks. So it means shipping on top of that as well, right? So I guess cost comparison, I would say that this is much more expensive, but at the end of the day, it's a brand new product, it's mm -hmm. a hot product, right? Supply and demand, people are gonna pay whatever, especially uh, you know, vegans or, or not right, right. eaters. So. But we're gonna try it out. Okay, Let's I think our pans are ready. Okay, do it. So we're going to start with this side down. Sure. You know what I noticed? It doesn't have that smell to it. Because when I've opened other products before, mm -hmm. I've never really tried them, but I've cooked it for RJ. It mm -hmm. always had a smell to it, and I got all turned off. But yeah. this product doesn't have that weird, salty, mm -hmm. preservative smell. Well, one thing that you've made very clear in all the years that I've known you and we've traveled, you love your meat. I love my meat and I yeah. love burgers. And, I really love burgers. You really don't seem to like any alternative meat. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> so this is going to be a good test. To yes, work, yes. Right? Okay, so we're going to do this for about a couple minutes. In the meantime, do you want to... Uh, oh, I'm supposed to baste it, right? Uh, yeah, we can baste this side. Okay. In the meantime... I'm going to grab another plate if you tell me where they are. Oh, they're over here where Jerome is. <laughs> Excuse me, Jerome. I'm just going to start plating the... Uh, Okay, so I'll take care of this. It doesn't take long. Yeah, it's already cooked, and it's it's made out of beans. So. Yeah, one thing you gotta remember is that there is, you know, you're not trying to get it to a certain temperature in order to make sure you don't get salmonella or whatever. You just have to do that. Right, right. So basically, you're eating vegetables. So. And you know what? I was looking at the nutrition label. There's actually quite a bit of protein in here. Mm -hmm. There is, yeah. Okay, well, this is the wrong one. Where's the other one? Uh, oh, it's over there. Okay. So, there is 7 grams of fat, 19 grams of protein. It's pretty good. And one burger is only 180 calories. Oh, and the carbs is 24. Not bad. Mm -hmm. So, you've, you've never tried an alternative meat product before? You've smelled like it. like I've tried I've tried a bean burger, but it's made out of beans and oats. So mm -hmm. I expected to eat an, a burger that tastes like beans and oats, right? Mm -hmm. But I've never actually had an alternative burger like this. Okay. So we'll see, right? Because this does not look like beans to me. And all the other bean burgers I've had look like mashed up beans. Yeah. So. Well, I can tell you this. I've had uh, I've had two different um, alternative meat burgers. Mm -hmm. One was the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. Why? I just tasted horrendous. It was just, it, there was no flavor. It just tasted like it was, um, like somebody should have been making food, right? Uh-huh. And then the other one I tried was pretty good. Okay. But it, but it didn't have much flavor and there really wasn't, it didn't give you that satisfaction of eating a, oh, a juicy yeah. burger. Yeah. So up to this point, I haven't had a great experience either. Nothing great. So we're going to see maybe this is going to be the solution to our problem. I think I'm going to play this with salad as well. One thing that we always try to do is make sure you like veggies. I try first to eat some vegetables uh, like every meal. So that comes with a little thumb. You know why, Eric? Why is that? It's good for the pipes. You know, it's good for the pipes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you always need a good pipe cleaner, right? Gotcha. You said it, you said it. <laughs> I did flip it, and yeah. I think we should put these ones on oh, too. Yeah. So this one, what's this green one here? Um, this one is, oh, it's the British banger. Yep, and this one's the smoking banger. So, uh, these are four veggie, veggie sausages. This is the ingredients that are in here as well. The ingredients are exactly the same as the other ones. 
So basically, it's the same ingredients. They just shape it into different uh, shapes. Okay. <laughs> So, Rick, do you eat vegan food? I do not. You do not? Okay. I am uh, a full meat eater. Uh-huh. I'm always open to new things, right? You are, actually. I'm not a vegetarian, but I do enjoy vegetables. So. But you are actually pretty open to everything because everything that I've had, I'll offer it to you and you'll see it. You'll take it. Oh. He always tries everything. Especially with food. Even if it wasn't food. There was one thing you tried that I was shocked that you tried it. <laughs> I don't know if I should say it or not, but okay, go ahead. Okay, so when I first gave birth to Jet, <laughs> you, oh, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Uh, I saved my placenta, and we dried it into a powder. So I had uh, like this jar full of my placenta pills. Rick comes over, you know. We're like, do you want to try some of these pills? He's like, sure, why not? Pops too, and I was shocked. I'm like, wow, we are really close now because he had my placenta pills. Right there. Right there, yeah. It's a result of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me drop these in here. Okay. One of the philosophies I live by now is uh, kind of being a yes man, trying new things, being open to new experiences. And uh, I feel like that's a great way to keep yourself youthful in life. Oh, yeah. I love that. Well, you know what? Do you want to sauce the burgers? Sure. Oh yeah, now we're cooking to them. Yeah. It fries nicely now too. Nice into plants. Yeah, you know, I really started getting into plants. These ones, um, I purchased these a long time ago. They're fake, so they're not okay. nothing special. But if you guys look around here, we yeah. have all of these new plants. Yeah. This is the quarantine thing to do, right? Yeah. So. Well, health benefits of plants. Oh yeah, it makes yeah. you happier looking at these plants yeah, too. It really does, yeah. Elevates your mood. Yeah. It purifies your air. Yeah. And uh, adds moisture to your to your house, especially in up here where we're running the heater all the time. Mm -hmm. It does. Another thing that you might want to do is grab yourself a humidifier slash diffuser. Why is that? Uh, well, it just puts more moisture, and you can put essential oils. It can smell like oh, vanilla in here. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Really nice actually. But we, I like how we have all of these different plants here. They're not really the same. Yeah. But my favorite plant is, oh, I don't even know. They're all beautiful. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close? I think so. See, I like how that one fries. It fries nicely. Because I've fried other products before, and it just sticks to the pan. Well, let's crank this up a little bit. Oh, you want to? Yeah, this one here? Definitely. Okay, we'll leave that one at six. Yeah, this one, good. we'll leave it at seven. I think, I think this one's almost ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm hungry. <laughs> I think you're going to be um, happily surprised. Okay. Yeah. You know, I think so, too. It, it looks like a, a good burger. Yeah. It's not falling apart. And it's it's a nice size. The ones mm -hmm. I've had before were so thin, you know? It was like, yes. what is this? It's, yeah. it's not a burger. And you're right. That's what I feel like. This is more, it's almost like it's handmade. Like they, yes. You know, maybe they, humans are doing this as opposed to just some press that's sticking it in, into a... We're pressing it into some little shape, right? Right. Okay. I think this one is good. Okay, wanna try it? Stick your finger in and see how hard it is. Yeah, it's hot. Huh? Do we need more sauce? I think. Yeah, maybe we should. Let's sauce it. I don't like a dry burger. It? Oh, it's over oh, there. Right <clears throat> Jerome, have you had lunch already? No, not yet. No? <laughs> mm -hmm. And Jerome, do you like burgers? I like burgers. Good. Jerome likes burgers. Jerome's like me. He's uh -huh. everything. Burger. Do you have any rice? Yeah, rice. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerome likes his rice. All right, I'm gonna salt it. Or I'm gonna sauce it like crazy, right? Yeah, just sauce it. Yeah. Let's do it. I'll let this simmer for a minute. We'll flip it. We'll sauce it one more time, and then let's uh, eat it. Okay, I'm excited. A little bit on here too. We're going crazy. And so this product, once again, you said you can only order online. No, uh, no, it is available in some stores. I don't know where they would be. But, yeah. Um, I do know that they're they're an online business and they wanted to keep it that way because that's how they started. But okay. there's so much demand, all these yeah. big stores are trying to get the product in. Okay. Which they are obliging. Yeah. But they want to stay um, 
to their core roots, which mm. is online. And okay. then, of course, that's what keeps it kind of unique, right? As soon as you get into the big box stores, you know how it is. All of a sudden, you turn into this corporation. And yes. And trying to avoid that. Even though yeah. they're doing still such big numbers, they will eventually. So. Okay. okay I'm going to flip this one more time. We'll flip yeah. it one more time, and then let's eat it. That's my new Pampered Chef spatula. Mm. Oh, you recognize it? Shout out to Pampered Chef. Yeah, Pampered Chef. Right. Mm. Now, are you cooking a pink job or a blue job? Both. <laughs> there is no pink or blue job. Oh. No, it's both. Does RJ shovel snow? No. Oh. RJ does not shovel the snow. However, <laughs> but he, he knows will. The guy who does. He does. He will get it. He will get the job done. So, and you know, you know what? He puts salt on the driveway, and yeah. he does things. I'll tell you the most important thing is to know the guy that gets it done. You yes. Know that? You guys, RJ will get it done. Are you ready? Yes, you I'm ready. Want to plate it? Yes. Okay. Come on, that looks great. It looks beautiful. How could you not like it, right? And a good salad too. I'll just put two over here. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna maybe just take these off here. Okay. Uh, remind me again how I do You can this. just turn off, press off. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Hold it. Yeah. Okay. And then power. And then power. Fancy schmancy. All right. I'll put yours here. Okay. I'll be right here. Okay. Should we put some mustard or something? You know, I think I should try as is before I add other sauces. Like get, then you'll get my honest yeah. feedback. All right, keep it on there. I want to see your face. On me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This won't be pretty. Okay. This is <laughs> Can you taste it? Like, can you taste the... You know what? It's actually quite enjoyable. Mm. I cannot believe I'm saying this. Like, I'm eating and I actually really love it. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me try it. Everything about it tastes really good. Mm. Actually, it's not bad. Mm-hmm. My first one-second reaction is it kind of feels a little softer than a regular burger, burger. But after three seconds, it doesn't. Good taste, you know, and it's spicy. It's really good flavor. It is spicy. It has yeah. a kick to it. Mm -hmm. But it tastes really tender. It tastes like a nice tender burger. Like I feel like <laughs> again. Okay. <laughs> I feel like people would be concerned about the texture, mm -hmm. right? People like texture in their mm -hmm. food. And you're right. The other burgers that you and I probably tried, mm -hmm. awful. The worst things ever. Mm -hmm. This is really good. I, mm -hmm. I would know the difference, and I would 100% order this over uh, over regular meat burger. I will order this again, yeah. Mm, yep. Okay. That's it. Should we, oh, we try the bangers, right? Mm hmm Okay. Okay. Do you want to try it in a bun, or do you want to just try it? We'll just sample it. Cut them into pieces. Uh, I would like to try it in a bun. <laughs> in a bun? Okay. So you can make up your bun however you want. Okay. Let's just have it with like this, as is. Okay. So I'll give you that one. Can you open me another bun? Yes. So you got the, um, so mine's going to be the English banger, or that one's the English banger, and then that one's Okay, why don't, why don't we cut them in half? Okay. Like okay. Okay. So we have one of each. Yeah. Let's try, okay, the Cheers. regular one. Cheers. Okay. Mmm. I like it. I got nothing bad to say about it. It tastes like a chili dog, right? It does. It's and the exactly. texture it tastes like um an actual hot dog. The texture isn't bad. It's that's, not mushy. Yeah, that's, that was my biggest concern. And you know what? I bet you if we cooked it, maybe we fried it a little bit more, it could make you make it a little bit harder. I guess I don't know, but it would taste even more like an actual yeah. like meat hot okay, so dog. Now this is going to be the uh, British banger. British banger. Okay. Right. Well, it's definitely a different flavor. It tastes like there's um, herbs in here. Mm -hmm. 
It tastes green. <laughs> yeah, it does. I like the other one better, but I don't hate this. And it's you know, almost like there's a like a mint or a menthol. It tastes like sage. 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 Yes. It tastes like sage. Yep. I kind of I like it. I like it. It it tastes healthy. It tastes like I'm eating a lot of herbs. Just mm -hmm. lots of um, health benefits in this hot dog. Yep. I would say so too. You know, I think I like all of them. I don't know what's my favorite. Yeah, I can't complain about anything. You know, I, you sold me. I really like this food. Mm. I actually really enjoyed it. I thoroughly yes. enjoyed it, and I would actually order this again. And I'm going to buy more stuff. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me on Nary's Kitchen. Thanks, Rick, for ha coming on my show no and introducing me to all of this food. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> and now let's give some food to these kids. Yes, yes, they're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye, guys. I'll see you guys next week. Bye for now.